Hey guys, I'm Lee Morris with fstoppers.com and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best external hard drive if you're a photographer or a videographer. Now, just a few months ago, I did a video that was kind of like this and in it, I discussed a Synology NAS device that we travel with everywhere we go. We use it as a mini server and the whole idea is, is that we can back up all of our footage on the road, but multiple users can edit from the drive at once. Well, after I released that video, Synology reached out to us and they said, hey guys, you realize that we make a slim version that is like half the size of the one that you guys are taking all over the world. And I said, no, I didn't know that. This specifically is the DS416 Slim. It's less than $300 without the drives. So keep in mind, you're gonna have to put the drives in it as well. But for the price, it has some amazing features. Now, just in case you guys don't know what a NAS device is, it's network attached storage. Most external hard drives are gonna connect with USB or Thunderbolt. This one's going to connect with ethernet. And what I love about this little box is that it has two ethernet ports. In the past, if Patrick and I were traveling together, we would have to bring our NAS device and then we'd have to bring a switch as well so that we could plug more than one computer into it at the same time. Larger NAS devices like the previous one that we owned and our much larger server that we have now take standard hard drives that you'd find in a desktop computer. This little guy takes hard drives that you'd find in a laptop, so it can be much smaller and instead of holding just two drives, in this one we have four. Now in this device here, we have four two terabyte drives, but if you wanna go crazy and you have unlimited budgets, you can actually put SSD drives in this thing for even faster performance. But guys, things are gonna to start to get really expensive if you go that route. Now, if there's just two of us traveling, this is the only thing that we're going to take when it comes to storage. We can plug two computers into this and we can both work off of it at the exact same time. Now, if there's more than two of us traveling or we want wireless connectivity to this device, I have found the best tiny little wireless router on the market. This one is made by Microtik. It's very fairly priced. And what I love about this thing is the speed and the size. As you can see here on the top of the unit, I've actually put some Velcro and I've also put some Velcro on the Synology unit. So sometimes I will stick this permanently on here and this is how I keep it in my bag as I'm traveling. It's just kind of one unit. I can easily plug one ethernet cord directly into this and then we can have four out of here and one additional unit out of the Synology itself. So wired, we could have five computers connected at once, or if you're gonna connect wirelessly, you could have tons of different users connected, all editing the exact same footage. Now let's say you're watching this and maybe you don't travel that often, or when you do travel, you're a one-man show and you don't have a team of people needing to edit off of the same drive. I completely understand, but you still may wanna purchase a drive like this, and here's why. I love the fact that I can take this on the road with me very easily because of its size, but then when I get back to the office, all I have to do is plug it into my network and it shows up as another network drive. So I think right now we might have four different NAS devices connected to our network all at the same time, and we can easily come home from a job, simply plug this in, and all of the computers in the office have access to this. I would imagine that most photographers or videographers watching this, you may not have an office full of computers, but you probably have more than one computer. Or you have different devices in your home that you wanna to connect to a single point. Maybe you have a laptop and a desktop computer and you wanna be able to share files between them. This is great for something like that. And most people nowadays have a smart TV as well. And if you wanna access files that are on a centralized hard drive, this is the easiest way to do it. For more content like this every single day, head over to fstoppers.com. And if you'd like to check out our full length photography tutorials, head over to fstoppers.com slash store.